The topic today is intersecting chords and we are looking at chords intersecting externally. So the question reads, the figure below shows a circle center O, AB and PQ are chords. So we have AB and PQ. So they are chords intersecting externally at point C as shown. AB is 9 centimeters, PQ is 5 centimeters, and QC is 4 centimeters. Find the value of X. So in this problem, what you're simply going to do is to find a relationship between the two chords. Now, basically here, what has been applied is similarity. So we are not going to go into those details, but I just want us to understand the relationship between code AB and code PQ. What you are going to have is the product of A now take the length from one end point of a chord, for example, A up to the point where they intersect. So we have AC times the next end point is B. So B up to the point where they intersect. So that is BC. And that will be equated to the same thing applied to chord PQ. So from P to the point of intersection, PC times the other point Q up to the point of intersection, that is QC. So length AC, A up to C will be 9 centimeters plus X, and that is 9, sorry, 9 plus X into BC, and BC is X, and we equate that to PC. PC is from here up to here, that is 9 times QC, QC is 4 centimeters. So this should give us, uh, when we open the brackets, we're going to have X squared plus 9X is equal to 36. From there, we can express this as X squared plus 9X minus 36 is equal to zero. So we've ended up with a quadratic equation and our task here is now to solve the equation find to find the value of X. So what we're going to do is in order to solve this, we are going to have this as follows. We have X and in the other one we also have X and then we look for two factors so that their product would be the same as the product of the coefficient of x squared, which is 1, and the constant term, which is negative 36, and that is negative 36. And their sum should be the coefficient of x, and that is 9. So the two factors in question here, if we look at it well, it should be negative 3 and 12. Inserting negative 3 and 12 in these brackets, we'll have x minus 3 and here x plus 12 and then we equate it to 0. So finally from here we can say x minus 3 is equal to 0 which implies that x is 3. We also have x plus 12 is equal to 0, which implies that x is equal to negative 12. So for this case, remember x is a length, length bc, so it cannot be a negative number, so that means we are going to ignore this and go by the positive value of x. So this simply implies that x is equal to 3 centimeters. So that is it for this question. I want to thank you for your patience. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.